Good afternoon. Welcome to Saturday. Let's hear it. Today we have a very special plenary. Uh, we are honoring the work of our leather community who has a long history of making people in power uncomfortable, and we like that. We're also going to talk about reproductive justice, and then we are going to talk about immigration. So while you're enjoying that last piece of pizza, as we start up today's plenary, please take note that all of today's pizza party, include, and this plenary itself, is uh, being underwritten by the Evelyn and Walter Haas Jr. Fund. Yes, a long supporter of us. We know how important it is to be counted. Rainbow Health Initiative, in partnership with the task force, is making sure that the health needs of our community are met and counted. You can make sure that our queer health counts uh, are taken by taking the National Voices of Health 2015 survey. And the survey will create a uh, national uh, snapshot or slapshot, snapshot of the LGBTQ health access experiences and disparities. So when you're out there, please take a stop by that health, uh, the Rainbow Health Table in the exhibit hall and share your experience and be part of the fight for LGBT health equity in our communities. And now, to help present the Task Force 2015 Le Leather Leadership Award, please welcome the color guard and representatives of the leather community, including the Parade of Colors, all right here, is sponsored by the, the Denver Girls of Leather and the Denver Boys of Leather from Denver. And the panels that are up here uh, today uh, make all, uh, all add up to uh, the Colorado Leather Quilt, and this includes panels for Leather Magic, House of Kirk and Grace, Collar, Puppies in the Mountains, I love that one, <laughs> a little tear in my eye, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Leather Colorado Foundation, Rocky Mountain Leather Alliance, Celebration of Power, Denver Boys of Leather, Brothers in Spirit of the Denver Boys of Leather, CJ's Leather, Man Code, Colorado, The House Labyrinth, National Leather Association from Colorado, Domus Sadicus, which is Latin, but I don't have time, Denver Wrangler, the Denver Girls of Leather. Among the flags displayed, along with the flag of the United States and the Colorado state flag, is the Colorado Leather Pride flag. Colorado is the only state to have a statewide recognized leather pride flag, Colorado. So now please help me welcome the president of Denver Boys of Leather to present our 2015 Leather Leadership Award. Please welcome Michael Hobbs. Thank you very much. We and our brothers and sisters from the Colorado Leather community are extremely honored to be here today to help present the tax task force 10th Annual Leather Leadership Award to a true hero, Mark Frazier. Before telling you about Mark, the task force has asked me to tell you why it created this award, and I wanted to add a few words myself. The task force has three reasons for creating this award. First, it wanted to say thank you and to acknowledge contributions of the leather community and its leaders to our movement, contributions which the, which the tax, task force, wow, believed has been unknown and simply ignored by the larger LGBT community. I know that before I unleashed my leather soul, I didn't know about these things either. One such contribution is that for over de four decades, the leather community has collectively generated millions of dollars every year in towns and cities from coast to coast to help people in our community most in need. Second, the task force wanted a way to express to the larger LGBT community's thanks to outstanding leather leaders for dedicating their lives and building, building and sustaining the leather community, preserving its history, and expanding our society's understanding of power, sexuality, and gender identity. Finally, this award was established as a way for the task force to say, in the most public way possible, that it truly believes in, a, in an inclusive movement. On a more personal note, the Leather Leadership Award means a lot to the leather community. The task force is the only national LGBT organization that publicly recognizes our leaders year after year with a meaningful honorarium. Our community's leaders sacrifice so much, both personally and financially, for the benefit of the rest of us. So on behalf of, of so many people in the leather community, we say thank you to the task force. Now today's honoree. 
30 years ago, Mark Frazier stepped forward and has given his heart and soul to the leather community ever since. He has a long record of achievements. He is the founding of the International Leather Sir, Leather Boy, and Community Boot Black Contest. In 1995, he opened the Dallas Eagle, and the bar is still going strong. And as I understand, the through the Dallas Eagle's efforts, he has raised over $2 million in funds for our community, great, small, and, and, and large. In 1999, he started the Discipline Courts Corps, the a BDSM social group in Dallas that, like the Dallas Eagle, is still going strong. In 2001, along with Hardy Haberman, also a recipient of this award, Mark produced Out of the Darkness, The Reality of S&M, a groundbreaking educational video featuring mental health professionals working to dispel rumors that BDSM is a clinical disorder and that those in the BDSM lifestyle are dysfunctional. In 2005, Mark founded the South Plains Leather Fest, which is now one of the larger events in North America. And over the years, Mark has been and remains a driving force in ensuring that all leathermen, cis or trans, are welcomed and embraced by the leather community. And Mark, showing that he is recognized and appreciated by all, has been named an honorary lesbian. <laughs> the word U-Haul was in that description. Don't go. Of course, I, I, a person like Mark does not focus his contributions in just one community. Mark's contributions outside the leather community are as many and varied as his contributions within the leather community. Through all of his accomplishments, Mark has never sought the spotlight and always gives credits to others. When I asked him to, when I called to ask him how I should introduce him, um, he 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 had hesitated greatly. He did not want to share the the task that he had done. So, for all of these reasons and more, I am extremely proud to present the Task Force Tenth Annual Leather Leadership Award to Mark Frazier. Thank you. Good afternoon. I have one promise to make you, that this will probably be the shortest speech you hear all weekend. First, I'd like to say thank you to the selection panel for voting for me for this award. I also would like to say thank you to the task force and creating change conference for this award. I'm humbled to stand here in front of you this afternoon because I've never thought of myself as an activist. I thought of myself as somebody who just was a person who had ideas, ideas that I thought could make a difference. About 30 years ago, I had a wise woman who just happened to win this award a few years ago. Tell me, Mark, if you really want to make a difference, you've got to be more visible and you've, had, you've got to take an active role in making change. At that time, I was a mere child, chicken, and um, I did my work behind the scenes. I shied away from the spotlight because it scared the bejeebies, bejeebies out of me, and it still does. I think back and realize how much truth was held in that statement. We have to assume an active role in our future especially if we, if we want to generate change. But this afternoon, I stand before you as a proud gay leather man. Even though there are many within the LGBTQ communities that don't understand what this leather thing is all about. Organizations like this and events like this has helped dispel misunderstandings and misconceptions about those who choose to live in leather. So I want to say thank you to the task force and the Creating Change Conference for recognizing that different cultures can exist or coexist under one umbrella. By that simple task, you've, all, you've actually embraced the true meaning of creating change. Thank you once again. Enjoy your afternoon and enjoy the rest of the conference. Good afternoon, Creating Change. 